Please stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the Lions News for December 22nd, 2017. This broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the first floor of the high school. Last call for lost and found in room 130. Swim bags including towels, sneakers, sweatshirts, sweatpants, and sneakers, agendas, bracelets, and eyeglasses. Please come and look in room 130 for all that has been lost. After the first, everything will be gone. The FBLA party originally scheduled for Wednesday will be held when we return from vacation on Wednesday, January 3rd. The girls varsity bowling team rolled an unbelievable game yesterday, tying the number one team Northport 20 to 20. Brianna Adams led the way with a high game of 200, rolled a 559 series and won all match games. Caitlin Cornell competed incredibly and rolled a high 214, a 509 series and won all her match games. Great wins by Olivia Taylor and Sarah Viola assisted the way. Great determination and team effort by Maggie Davidson, Alexa Keenan, Amanda Labrizzi, and Pam Curtin. Great team effort by all. Today is a blue day. Have a really great vacation. Good morning, West Islip High School, and happy Friday. Students, among the greatest gifts we have during this holiday season is our relationship with you. Thank you for all the faithful support and effort in making our high school a welcoming place. As we prepare for the end of 2017 and the upcoming holiday break, on behalf of my administrative team, I would like to extend my gratitude for the commitment of our faculty and staff and the talented students we have at West Islip High School. What is it that takes the dark and cold day of winter and fills them with light and warmth? It is the anticipation of some special holiday which will soon be celebrated. For some of us, it is Christmas, and for some of us, it is Hanukkah. Whatever the holiday, the feeling it engenders transcends any boundaries of religion and unites us all in a common feeling of affection for each other. I wish each of you a joyful and restful holiday season and an enjoyable and safe winter break spent in the company of friends, family, and loved ones. And I hope everyone finds time to relax, have fun, and renew themselves for the new year. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas, let me leave you with the same wish. May light and love be yours forever. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and thank you. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bow. He was dressed in all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. 
and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho.